Good evening. Hello. Is he leaving yet, or is it still afternoon? Half five. Half five. Early evening. Early evening. Early evening. Um, it doesn't matter, I know it's not part of my set. Um, so I decided to do tonight for a couple of reasons, a few reasons. Um, I wanted to step out of my comfort zone. I wanted to raise as much money as I could for cancer research. But mainly, I just wanted a night off from kids. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> I've got three kids, I love them to bits, I do, but fucking hell, kids are hard work. Has anyone got kids? Yeah. yeah. And I bet not a single one of you, when you booked your ticket, said, can I bring kids along? Did you? No. It's not all doom and gloom though, guys. I'm just telling the people who haven't got kids. It's not all doom and gloom. There are poor pros about having kids. Um, my favourite is the fact that you can tell them absolutely anything you want and they'll believe you. Anything. And it's not just my kids, it's all kids throughout history. I mean, who remembers when we were younger, being told, no, no. Music means he's run out of ice cream. <laughs> or I'd, uh, I'd love to take you to the park, but they're all closed. <laughs> Oh, that, uh, that time my dad said he was nipping out for some bread. It's been, uh, it's been 25 years. No, I'm not joking, I'm joking. It'll be uh, 27 in February. Papa, can you hear me? Papa, can you see me? No, I'm joking. My dad's in the audience tonight. It was all a joke, all right? Uh, he sat there, probably wishing he hadn't run out on me, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> so, as I mentioned, I like to tell my kids bullshit. Um, but the problem is, I forget what I told them. Um, a prime example is my youngest, he was about eight, came out of school, he was fuming, raging. Um, he'd had an argument with his teacher, because during sex education, she told him that babies come out of the mum's vaginas when they're born. Now, I'd always told him they came out of the mum's belly buttons. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, but I got away with it, guys, I got away with it. I just told him that his mum told me that he came out of her belly button. <laughs> Top parenting tip there for you guys. Pass the book. Pass the book. Um, so I've also got two teenagers. <laughs> Has anyone got teenagers? Yeah. Yes, they're fun, aren't they? They're fun. They're about as fun as shaving your balls with a set of hair clippers. Let me tell you. And from that laughter, I'm going to assume some of you guys have done it. Yeah? Let me tell you about the time I did it. Um, so I would never run for manscaping, I would never down for it, but I've got some threatening letters from council and I thought I'd best do something about this. Um, so I'm stood in my bedroom, I just found you then, I'm really sorry. I'll stand further back here. <laughs> so I'm, uh, I'm stood in my bedroom, standard pose ladies and gentlemen, pants are down by my ankles, t-shirts tucked under the chin. Full length mirror, a bit of a mistake. No good for my self confidence. I should apologise to my kids' mum for that, she's seen it too many times. <laughs> and then I thought to myself, well, I'm sorry, I thought, do I wet it? Because no, when, when you go to the barbers, they use that little tss, 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 don't they? So I thought I'll wet it, so I waddled to the bathroom, like a penguin guarding its head, and I've splashed some water on there. And I've waddled back. There was no cable there when I did it. I've waddled back. <laughs> <laughs> and the second that that steel touched my skin, my life flipped upside down, let me tell you. <laughs> my bollocks took a look at each other and went, fuck that. <laughs> they went back up inside me. I was standing there, full length mirror, like a castrated dog, just laughing about just skin. And then the next thing, everything just went in slow motion. Everything. <laughs> I, for, from somewhere I could hear orchestral music coming from somewhere. I was seeing things, ladies and gentlemen. These people getting shot and blown up all around me. It was like the opening scenes of Saving Private Ryan. And the whole time that's happening, their air clippers were buzzing across the floor like they were epileptic at a laser disco. So <laughs> sorry. Oh. Bit awkward, this it? Yeah, what about from this side? <laughs> You're saying that, but I look like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> um, so I guess what I'm trying to tell you about this, ladies and gentlemen, is I've got two teenagers. Um, and they don't believe a single thing I say anymore, they don't. When they were younger, they'd never eat the vegetables, ever. 
Uh, there's some other words for it. If he saw anything green on his plate, he start acting like you were uh, being force-fed actual shit. Uh, he'd get really dramatic, he really would. He'd be sat there crying, bringing fork to his mouth, and the closer it got, the more it started shaking. And then when it got about an inch, an inch, away from his mouth, <laughs> he'd start with a... And I got fed up, ladies and gentlemen, and I said to him, listen son, if you don't eat your vegetables, you will, he'll fall off. And I'm not proud, I'm not proud. And he laughed as well, he laughed like you did, and he said, daddy, we will, he'll fall off. <laughs> You're silly. And at that moment, his sister ran in naked. And he looked at her laughing. And he looked at me and he went, and he just started suddenly dropping and dancing to his mouth. Ladies and gentlemen, I would love to stay here all night. I really would. I need to follow me down before we fucked up again. You've all been amazing. Thank you.